Ubuntu 1710 is finally available for download. This is the first release we've seen from Canonical of Ubuntu with GNOME shipping as the default desktop environment. Now, many users would say that plain vanilla GNOME is borderline unusable right out of the box. So what exactly did Canonical do to whip GNOME into shape in just six months following their big announcement? Find out in this video review of Ubuntu 1710. <laughs> Ubuntu 1710 is one of the most interesting releases that we've seen from Canonical in a very long time. Interestingly enough, back in April, when Canonical announced that they were shifting from Unity, the desktop that they developed in-house, back to GNOME, which is one of the most prolific desktop environments available on Linux anywhere, a lot of users assumed that Canonical was actually giving up on the Linux desktop user and focusing more on cloud and servers. Ubuntu 17.10 shows us that nothing could be further from the truth. Canonical has in fact chosen to depart from Unity and mirror their in-house developed display server in favor of Gnome and Wayland. 17.10 ships with Wayland on by default as a default display server. They do give you an option inside of the login screen to fall back to X if needed. This is going to serve as a testing ground for Canonical to see if Wayland is ready for prime time. If it is, 18.04, the LTS that will come out in April will ship with Wayland on by default. If not, Canonical will fall back to X for the LTS. The latest version of Ubuntu ships with kernel 4.13 and GNOME 3.26. This latest redesign of Ubuntu, while bold, is exactly what Canonical's user base wants. Features specifically for high DPI, such as non-integer high DPI scaling, means that 17.10 is perfect for those MacBook users looking to get off their useless proprietary OS. A completely redesigned control center means navigating and changing options inside of the operating system are straightforward. The look and feel of Unity is there, but with the backing of the GNOME community. So where is the majority of the work that Canonical did? Well, it's actually in the polish. It's the small things like the highly visible dot that appears next to a running application to show you that that application is in use. Something I almost entirely missed with vanilla GNOME, but is very apparent to me in Ubuntu 17.10. It's things like the top icons that they have turned on by default. So instead of coming out in some stupid drawer at the bottom of the screen, which gets in your way and eats up screen real estate, it's up where it belongs in a place that's already reserved for showing me notifications. The updated Bluetooth subsystem makes connecting to external Bluetooth devices such as Bluetooth speakers and Bluetooth headphones, which I use all the time, much easier. 17.10 also ships with Network Manager 1.8, which means that the Wi-Fi issue that I've been complaining about for years is finally solved. Overall, I think this is the best release of Ubuntu that we've seen to date from Canonical. I really have to hand it to their development team for handing us a Class A operating system in just six months, transitioning from Unity to GNOME. Now, it's important to note that I don't think if you're a Unity user, you're going to feel exactly at home on GNOME. There are some differences. They didn't totally replace GNOME with Unity, and why would they? That would be pointless. So I think they have struck a great balance between making it easy for Unity users to come over to GNOME, but not totally just replacing GNOME with their own implementation. And that's good news and it's bad news. It means that there might be some unfamiliarity if you're coming over from Unity, but overall, it's a great operating system. Now, typically we don't recommend users upgrade if they're not going from an LTS to an LTS. The LTS editions are supported from five years from the date that they're released, whereas the non-LTS is only supported for nine months after its release. In this particular case, I'm recommending that every user that is an Ubuntu desktop operating system upgrade to 17.10. I think it's the most polished release that we've seen of Ubuntu. I think it's where the development on Linux is happening today, and I definitely think GNOME is where the future of desktop Linux will be. If you enjoyed this video review, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to check the Ask Noah Show out. It airs every Monday at 6 p.m. More information at asknoahshow.com.